Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Now this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts in not a long jump. Now, I, I remember when we were in school, you know, I mean, we had uh, games and sports. And one of my, my favorite that I really, I was, I was really um, impressed with that particular game is when people begin to take long jumps. You know, they go back there, they take a very fast run, a very speedy one, and then they, they just launch themselves into the air and they travel miles, you know, of, of meters and then they land somewhere else and then all of us begin to, to clap for them. And uh, I was very, very enthralled by those. And for me, some of them were like superstars for me and I really, really admired them. And then came the other one, like the hop, step, and then jump. And I realized that, I mean, the, for, uh, for the long jump, boom, then you're gone, you know. But the hop, step, and jump is much more gradual. But for me, this morning I'm thinking, and I'm saying to myself, no, it's not a long jump. So no long jump. And Psalm 37 verse 23 captures my thoughts. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The steps of a good man are ordered by God. So you know one of the things I realized, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. God deals with us in our walk into tomorrow. It is a step-by-step -step process. It is not, boom. It is not a rocket. But it is a step by step by step on a daily basis. Now, God w deals with us through steps. That means so one step after the other, one step after the other. And here comes our test of patience. Many of us will like the boom, then we are there. Many of us will like to just fly into the air and then arrive at destination just like that. God doesn't work that way. He says the steps of a good man. And even that, those steps, he orders it. So it's, it's, not, it's not you taking a particular step. No, he ordered the steps. And you find yourself fulfilling that order, sometimes without, with or without your knowledge. But that's how God deals with us. The steps of the righteous are ordered by God. Did you see how he took the people to the promised land from Egypt? There were steps. Did you see how he took David after David had been anointed, and you know, uh, to be king? Did you see how it do? And let me just say, some of the places you land in, in the step towards destiny, in the step towards the promise, in the step towards your dream, some of the places you land in may be uncomfortable places. Maybe places of unease, maybe places of discomfort, maybe places of trauma, maybe places of tears. But they are still steps, the steps of the righteous. So here, here's the thing. Sometimes the, 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 the challenge we have, the challenge of patience, and are impatient with what God wants to do in our lives. We are so impatient that we want it overnight. We want it like yesterday. So guess what? Our walk into 2021 are going to be step-ordered walk. It's going to be step-ordered walks. It's not going to be like a jump, like we hear. We won't get to from January, we won't go to, through February, we won't go through March, boom, then we are in December. And all the things that God promised have become a reality. That is not the case. He doesn't deal that way. He deals with us step by step. And sometimes, sometimes, some of the steps we need to take may be uncomfortable steps, maybe steps of discomfort. But that's how God deals with us. And that's where he's taking us. I'm persuaded that he says, I know the plans I have towards you. They are plans of good and not of evil. Jeremiah 29, 11. They are thoughts, I know the thoughts I have towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. So there is an expected end. He has already mapped it out. He has already marked it out. He knows we don't know. But it's a step-by-step -step process towards that expected end. 
Well, can you trust him? Can you have faith? That he that has begun a good work in you shall surely accomplish it. No long jump. See you later.